Now, before we dig in, this one is for Mr. Andy Bremner. So thanks indeed for your support, Andy. Um, he requested this one over at Patreon, so here it is. Right then, peeps, so the intro riff is very straightforward. <laughs> Then you go up to the octave. Then you're in the wah-wah part. That is it, that is the first riff. We're in standard tuning here as well. Mike does not faff around on the first few albums really. So um, fifth fret, third fret, open. And if you're, um, you wanna play stones parts in standard tuning, then this is how to do that too, right? You're just gonna play the D and the G string third and fourth string with this rhythm and that is in six eight okay so one two three two two three one two three two two three okay so you want to be tapping out a beat like that. Four times there, then move it up to the 17th fret. Then you stick the wah wah on and you're gonna play this. again right so you only ever play three bars worth of so what are we doing there right we're doing some palm muting of the strings so without the wire on just sounds like that with the wire on and I'm just rocking the wire backwards and forwards there but you're gonna play double stops on the third fret and the fifth fret and there I'm covering the G and B string. So the first bar is. So there you've got four whackers. And the third fret. Then another four whackers. And then the fifth fret. And that just rings out for a beat and a half, okay? Again. And the second pattern goes. So that three slowly. Notice the second time that I play that double stop on the third fret, it's half as long, right? So it's, it's quicker. Then the um, next one's the same as the first. Another wah. Let's play through all three. Then in two. I don't know whether Mike keeps the wah on when he plays those parts or not, but um, if you can switch quickly between the two, then do that. That's kind of it right there is one other fill where Mike comes in and plays so slowly it's very very subtle variation right basically do a little bend at the end of the phrase right It's a half step bend. So when you release the bend to the fifth fret, that's the first beat of the next bar. And then you do six more whackers. And then I think that's what he plays there. It sounds like he's playing something slightly lower there. Oh, there's one other wah part actually in the breakdown. In fact, it doesn't have wah, it just plays. I 
think it has like a chorus or something, maybe a vibe pedal on there. I'd play it with wire if I was you. But you're going to play the top three strings instead. So. And then that double stop on the fifth fret, right? So all you're doing is adding one extra note. Otherwise it's the same as the, the verse part, basically. Then, um, I think for the most part, Mike does keep playing. I do all the rundowns of how you um, break down the structure in Stone's lesson, so go and check that out if you're interested in playing along with it, because otherwise I'll just repeat myself. But essentially all Mike's doing. And then he mixes it up with. So if ever there's an eight bar phrase, he'll start with four of them. And split it up like that. Later on in the tune, he goes straight to those. So that was it. Hope you enjoyed that one. Nice and short and sweet, wasn't it? But um, this, this tune is really all about the... Um, the structure and arrangement really rather than the riffs so uh yeah fun one hope you enjoyed it see you soon bye bye